this is one application of uh, ampere's law magnetic field inside a long solenoid take this is a solenoid of a very long distance so just uh, to simplify this problem we just cut this cylinder along the length sorry along the diameter side by side so this is the cross section after cutting and if the direction is clockwise direction of current is clockwise to right work then the cross section dot indicates that current lines dot and cross current lines Car dot means current line current is coming in upward to the board and cross means current is going towards inwards the board so to apply ampere's law we are we just take a ampere's loop that this is p q r s and this is the direction of ampere's loop so for this case b dot dl equals into instead of cross point equals equals to mu naught there will be i into if there is a number let l is the length and small n be the num total number by length so n l gives the total number of turns where n equals to number per length so this indi indication close by indication can be split in four terms that is uh, for p q p dot dl plus for p q r p dot dl plus r s q b sir b dot dl plus s p b dot dl equals to mu naught n i l this value gives for p q b is along this direction and l also along this direction so parallel this gives p dot dl equals to b into l integration dl means l plus for q r l is perpendicular to b that is zero for b r s this is an outside of the solenoid that is b equals to zero so b dot dl gives zero as as it is in outside and fourth term also is b also zero because b because b perpendicular to l so this total gives mu not n i l therefore b equals to mu not n i so this is the magnetic field due to solenoid along the axis of the solenoid long solenoid obviously this is for a infinite solenoid infinitely long solenoid For finite solenoid, this should be different.